Every two weeks, we do a call with our students, and the topics vary, but it's always about college, college admissions. And so I did one about summer not that long ago, and this is a clip from that. My thesis is very simple. Everyone is so busy during the school year that you run out of hours, and it is difficult to outcompete in an elite admission sense during the school year. So summer is your self-directed opportunity to level yourself up. We've got a bunch of clips and we've got the whole thing up if you want to watch it. Thanks. So the point of summer is that the school year for everybody has a right wall, meaning that for eight hours a day, for 180 days, you're in one place, not counting homework and commuting. So once you figure out the evenings, a couple sports in the weekends, there's not a ton of time. So what happens is everybody who, who really wants to go to super competitive schools or be super competitive for really high quality scholarships ends up somewhat close, clustered together. And the idea behind this is not that you can't take a break. The, the idea behind this is it has to be fun. Because if it's not fun, you're actually not going to do it because this is so intrinsically motivated. Or excuse me, self is so intrinsically motivating in this. It has to be something that you really want to do. And so from an admission standpoint, when you look at total applicants to a highly selective school, the first cut is always numbers. After numbers it starts to become holistic. And so it becomes if do you have the right amount of extracurriculars? Do you have decent letters? How are your essays? But that actually gets winnowed down quite a bit. And so the best way in a field where everybody is close to this right wall, we have this idea that people are normally distributed. And that colleges just take however much of this tail that they want. But the actual applicant pool at a lot of highly selective schools, like in Michigan, like in Ivy, like a lot of places, looks more like this. And so if this is the median applicant for, um, or excuse me, the median admit for Harvard, then you have this, you have a long tail going this way, but so many of your students, so many of your applicants are clustered so, cl so close together. And I just don't believe there's much else you can do during the school year. Not only that, but summer gives you the chance to really do something of your own. And that's what colleges really want. Elite colleges are not in the business as much a, a, of admitting the best students as they are admitting people that are going to be amazing alumni. Everybody wants a Mark Zuckerberg of their very own. I'm not sure why about why Mark Zuckerberg, but that's who we picked for this example. And so the best way to show them that you're going to change the world, especially at these little super elite colleges where they operate more like a hedge fund than a traditional college is to show them that you've already changed things. That's really what they want. One of the, the toughest challenge, uh, challenges for elite admissions is separating out the people who did things out of a genuine sense of doing them, although they can tell pretty well, versus the people that are chasing an admission. And so by taking on something that no one would take on unless they really cared about it, you automatically give yourself some validity. 